And I'm Jude. Hi. Today, I'm talking about DIY wheelchair stuff because when I first got this wheelchair a couple of months ago, I searched the internet high and low for DIY stuff like spoke guards that I'm going to do today and how to decorate your chair or how to adjust the seat depth when you've bought the wrong seat depth. Uh, and I have come up empty mostly. It's been insanely difficult to find DIY videos about wheelchairs. So I am here to, I'm here to do a spoke guard one today. Spoke guards are what usually cover the spokes here on the side of the chair. But they cost about two to three hundred American dollars, and I don't know about you, but I don't have that. So, I'm going to show you how to make them for less than a dollar. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is measure for what size you're going to want your uh, guards to be. So, for me, I did not have any yarn like I usually have, so I just have shoelaces for my dress shoes here. And I am going to actually use the part where the aglet ends to measure the spokes. Um, and depending on how, how uh, large a circle you want in the middle, I'll show you later how to adjust that. But we're going to measure for right now from the middle of the, the wheel right here, where the middle of your button is, if you have quick release wheels to the inside of your rim, so here where this hand is. Um, and then we're going to take that measurement and that's how we're going to make our circle on the poster board. You need to put your thumbtack through your string like so, so that you can stick it down and it will keep your center of your circle. If you do happen to be using a shoelace like me, make sure that you don't stretch it while you are drawing. But I am working on the back of the poster board currently, so it shouldn't really matter, to be honest. So, here we go. Did you ever do this with your kids? Um, take yes, a, actually I have. Take a string in and make a circle of it. Yeah, this is about the tar part where they usually fight and say your part of the circle is bigger than my part of the circle. You didn't let me draw. How dare you? You're not my friend. <laughs> oh, they each get like an arc. Yeah. I will say I'm going to cut slightly outside the circle just in case I have made the circle too small. And then we will try it on the wheel and see how that goes. So if you have a table that you're doing on, I just drop it like this so that the axle is not poking up and that it can just fall down um, and just kind of test to make sure your circle is roughly the right size on the actual line. So for me, uh, it looks like it's about right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and trim it to the actual, actual size. Excuse my headless body on this video. Thank you. If you haven't met my wife, meet the holder of everything that I always lose. <laughs> and the holder of the hand when he doesn't have scissors. Yeah. Okay, so same deal. Take two. You're going to take your string and your push pin. Stick it in. And make a smaller circle, however large that you would like it for your donut shape. Um, I'm just going to do this for now. All the way through the string. And it is actually much easier to just go ahead and make a cut straight in like so and cut out the middle because you're going to want to do that anyway. So 
I just try to do it relatively straight in because that is how we're going to make our more of a symbol shape than flat. Those um, spokes are not actually flat. They're more shaped like a like a percussion symbol, like the things you clash together in a football game. <laughs> so this. All right, so we have our donut shape with the slit down this middle. This is the actual side that I'm going to have facing the world from my chair. I'll show you now how we're going to put it on. Let's real quick. And for what I was saying about the split, I'm going to overlap it just a little bit to make it a little bit concave so that it will fit on the, the wheel. Uh, mine is still a little bit big, so I'm just going to trim around the edge a little bit until it's kind of bowed out like this. Perfect. Okay, so now if you can see here, it's, uh, it's flat along the spokes. So I know that I have cut it enough. If it has a gap in here, like this, you'll want to cut it a little bit more until you've got it just right. Okay, I'm going to take it off the wheel for now. And this is where the laminating starts. Are you excited for this, babe? Yes. yes. Okay, so. Do not do this on a surface that you care about because <laughs> it might rip it up. Um, so like here, this is just wood so it's not going to hurt it, but uh, if you're doing it on carpet it might pick up fibers, so like if you have a cat like we do, we have two cats, uh, it will pick up their fur in the tape and then you will have tape on your spoke guards. So do this somewhere that is... That it won't hurt it, but you won't get gross stuff in your spoke guards. And you literally just tape all the way across. Overlap a little bit on each row. So that this is just to make it waterproof. You don't get in the right end. So, example time, if you have stuff hanging around, it may get in your tape. Like, I have a lovely, lovely hair from my wife. <laughs> I'll always be with you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to flip it over and tape the other side, and then I will show you how to trim the tape. So this is the other side, um, so now this is the sticky side. So I've just flipped it over is all, and you just want to go over it. Make sure that it's overlapping on all of the tape, that way it creates a seal. So, same song, second verse.
so when you cut, you want to leave just a little bit like so. So, in rotary cutter is super great for this. I don't have one anymore, but it works really well. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of extra on the edge, maybe just like an eighth to a quarter of an inch, just to make sure it is sealed in. portion, the middle portion, um, I'm just going to cut down that same line, don't worry about it if you cut the poster board a little bit because we'll seal that up when we mold it to the, the tire. So same deal, make sure that you cut an eighth to a quarter of an inch inside. Here. So, so make sure there's about an eighth to a quarter of an inch overlap here. Okay, so the last thing you want to do is just attach it to your wheel. I've got my wheel here. This side that's facing up right now is the side that faces away from the chair. So this is the side that people are gonna see. You just take your new guard, put it on like you'll have it when you're riding around. Uh, make sure it's relatively flat and centered. Kind of rotate it a little if you need to. Um, and then just flip the entire wheel upside down. And you can use Velcro or zip ties, um, but I just use the same clear tape that I used to laminate it. And you just, um, the spokes that are closer to the guard, just tape it right on. Like so. <laughs> One like that, and then one right across from it, and then it's so basically the four corners kind of deal. Um, make sure it's pretty much flat. So, and then take it right up. noises coming from our living room and I thought it was a cat but it's actually our nephew. Never can tell. <laughs> Likes to blame when things get broken on the cats too. So, yeah. And with that you are now the proud owner of a spoke guard for less than a dollar. Enjoy! Hope you enjoyed that video. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything else DIY you'd like to see with regard to wheelchair.